to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might take plus one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yep. So I uh I wrote a story. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in a scenario. I wanna know what you would do. Okay. So you you go out on a date with a nice young lady and you go to a restaurant. Mm-hmm. And and when you pull up, you you got you both meet there, so you're each in a separate car, and a guy's like, Hey, in order to park here, it's twenty dollars. You give them twenty dollars a piece. You go in and start eating, and it's somehow in dinner you find out that that man does not work for the restaurant, and he ripped you off for forty bucks. Like you didn't have to pay to park there, but he told you you had to pay to park there and ripped you off for forty dollars. I feel like that has happened in New York many times. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And then they didn't steal your car. They didn't damn. It wasn't like a valet. It was just literally he was like, "You got to pay to park here," and you gave him forty bucks and whatever. Okay. So you find that out. You're on a date. I would be, I would what be you, unhappy. What, what do you do? Do you do anything? Mm, I'm on a date. Do I see the guy? Yeah, he's still out there. He's still out there ripping off other people for 20 bucks. Um, so he's still hanging out. What city are we in? Uh, Does it say? Houston. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I take the L. I take the L. You just say... He got I mean, me. Man, yo, the cops aren't coming. He's probably packing. I'm on a date, so I'm probably not. Yeah. I'm, I take the L. So, I'm, not, I'm not looking for that smoke like that. It's yeah. Houston. No, I'm I don't good. I don't know this guy's name because I, I don't he doesn't so he um so he went out to confront the man. They uh they ended they walked around the corner together. He comes back. Sits down back at the table. He said, yeah, everything's fine. You know, whatever. They, you know, they finish the date. They they go off. Find the man dead in the alley with a gunshot wound to the head. That's what happens. This mother effer went out, took the dude in an alley, shot him, took yeah. the $40 back, and then went back to his date. Sat down, finished his date with a young lady. She ended up turning him into the cops. She turned him in? Because, like, yeah, because I guess something Because he told her. I don't know if he told her or, like, she she found out, like, heard about somebody being shot by the restaurant, like, where they were. And she was like, we were there the other day. And they have him on, like, security footage where he went in his car, got something out, walked with the guy around the corner, came back, put something back in his car, went back. So he went and got his gun, went and shot the dude, and put his gun away, and then went back in the restaurant. Like, hey, man, you know what? And see, I guess he didn't know who he was effing with now, huh? <laughs> I guess F around and find F around, find out. What do you think about that response, Jones? What, what's I mean, your What's your initial response to that? It's extreme. It's extreme. You can like you can confront the man and not shoot him. Do you feel like it's warranted? No, for no. forty bucks. Okay, you, your meal's going to be more than forty bucks. I would have to say is that. What do you think about the behavior of the guy in, uh, who was running the scheme? What do you I think mean, about that? I feel that like. Do you think he was asking for it? If you're ripping people off for money, yes. whatever happens to you, you cannot be surprised. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I'm not going to say he deserved it. No, he but did. he was playing a he was playing he was playing a game. Exactly. That he knew the stakes were high. Exactly. He just thought that no one was going to be that crazy that day. He's probably done that a million times. And, and he finally found the dude oh, who was nuts enough to shoot him. One in the guy million in and head. one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep, dude. Yep, yep, yep. There's always going to be someone who will take it past where it needs to go. Like uh, I would assume, I would have thought the guy would have got the the crap beat out of him before he someone shot him in the head for forty dollars. Like that's that's the kind of thing I would I could see someone walking up to him and before the dude even says a word, you punch him in the face and be like, "Give me my money." Like. And then the dude, and the dude would probably give you the money because you just punched him in the face, and he'd be like, "I deserve that," and he would go on his own way. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't know. See, to me, obviously, it wasn't like he took him back in the alley. He was like, "Hey, I'm gonna need my money back." He was like, "No, bang, I'll take my money." I don't know if it was that deep. I think it was. You're gonna give me that money back. You're gonna give me that money back. I ain't giving you ish. You're gonna give my money back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure he had an opportunity to hand that money back. I don't know if the guy. I was doubt the... he just took him back there and shot him in the head. Like yeah. as he's walking and behind him, he just like mafia. Yeah, yeah. But I man, look, I would say is that if you leave people alone, then you won't get messed with. If you generally, rip, if you rip people off for money, that's something people will fight you for, hurt you for, like 
it's like, and it's interesting because it's only 40 bucks. It's not like it was like thousands of dollars or like whatever, mm -hmm. 40 bucks. It becomes a principle at a point in time. Yeah. It's a I mean, principle. It's, it's not even the money. It's the fact of that you have disrespected me and us as Americans, we hold on to respect strong. Like, it yeah, we, we do hold on to like oh, people. Yeah. I mean, all the pride, pride and respect. gets people all the time. Like, yes, or just feeling disrespect. I mean, pride and dis if you feel disrespected, it kind of like it hurts your pride. That's kind of the same. Pride is a very dangerous thing. Yeah, I, I mean, people that? do ish all the time. Can I say that? I would say so. It is. It's it's dangerous because it's it's important to have pride. Yes. But you can't be so extreme with it at all costs. <laughs> pride that goes too far is too much pride. Yeah, that's the like. It's like on the old Chappelle sk skits when keeping it real goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's like you're you're so prideful that you can't just let something go to the point that you end up in jail. Yes. Like this guy. He, he was so prideful to the point he had to go and murder someone. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, see, I'm at odds with it because I don't think that his, I don't think that his activity was unjustified. I, honestly, you, I do not. I do not. You feel that stealing 40 bucks from someone murder is acceptable. Uh, I feel like if you steal from me, you could get shot. Yes. A hundred percent. If somebody walked through this, walked through in into this home and stole forty bucks off the table, they would be warranted to be shot, right? I mean, okay, you're then. not wrong. Okay, then because because yeah, because because if someone walked in here and took forty bucks, me and you would probably try to stop him or beat the crap out of him to be like, you're not taking my Bro, money. I just bought this knife. <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> I'm looking, I already stabbed myself <laughs> twice with it. Looking to get somebody else with it now. I'm just saying. Yeah, man. It's... I'm just saying. If somebody walked in your front door and tried to take forty dollars off of your table, and you had a gun to defend yourself, you would shoot them. So I don't know if it's really necessarily like, do I feel endangered? Do I feel disrespected? Well, do I feel like I'm being taken? And I will like... say this: it's completely the guy's fault who stole the money. Because yes. if he wouldn't have stole the money, exactly. Now, granted, his, we don't know his situation, but at the same time, he made a conscious choice. To rip someone off straight up. That part. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's like the street hustlers that like do the shell game and stuff, and they like and that they get you and, shot. Then and then people are playing domino. Like, what was the guy from uh, Migos got showed, shot in a dice game? Somebody was trying to do something. Somebody did something about taking somebody's money. Ends up shot. I don't think it had anything to do with that. No, he got shot randomly. He but got there, shot something randomly. happened at the dice game, yeah, was, and he ends up getting shot as a, as a yeah, bystander, right? Yeah, like yeah. it's whoever. Did the thing that they shouldn't have done's fault. Like, you try to grab somebody's money that ain't yours, that's your fault. Yeah. Don't yeah. grab someone else's money. Don't rip somebody off. You don't get shot. Yeah. I, it's I, like, I, so I, I have a hard time even blaming the guy who shot him. I do think it it was, it was extreme for me. It's not extreme for him. He's been through, obviously not because he's gonna he's keeping it real in the jail now. He's been through different life experiences than I have. Maybe he's been through a couple trials and trials through Afghanistan or some shit. Maybe maybe, maybe he was a, a contracted killer. Maybe he's been an orphan and he was brought up in like the born maybe identity. This is his first date in forty years. Yeah, maybe he he's an incel. He wants to impress the girl. Yeah, maybe he was just a hood that sold drugs. I don't know. He could have been. Maybe he was an ex CIA agent. He actually has government clearance in this whole story will be erased before we even finish this podcast we don't know but i would not personally kill somebody i probably would have just called the cops but like i said it was houston so the cops ain't coming yeah yeah. and honestly he would have got away with the murder probably. lord yeah i don't know <laughs> chick i can't believe that she, well she probably got called in she was like okay yeah right like, they yeah. saw her with him and yeah and whatever. she was like all right like, i ain't going to jail yeah but. right like he went he told me he went outside handled it came back the most effed up part is he just goes and murders a guy and goes back to the date and just sits down finishes his tacos yeah well, that's messed up that'd be like that'd be like i get off work I just go and murder somebody down the street, come back home, start doing a podcast. Like, hey, what's up, dude? Let's do a podcast. Like, what the F, dude? Like, that's that's messed up. <laughs> that you can just go and end someone's life and act like nothing happened. I mean, what else are you going to do? 
What else? I mean, you, I guess if you're going to murder what? someone in an alley, you, that's the kind of mindset you got. You still like, got to eat, man. You still, <laughs> still got a pod. Still got a pod. Yeah, so I got to put this podcast out. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I don't know, man. It's That's just a wild ass story. So that's all the time that we have for today's episode, though. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. <laughs>